and welcome to the Brave Marketing Podcast with your host Swapna Thomas. This is the podcast for the renegades, the trailblazing leaders and the change makers who don't just have a business, it's your calling. Those of you who want to make a difference and make money but all on your own terms. I'm on a mission to show as many life coaches as possible how you can have more income, more impact and infinitely more fun by being unapologetically and bravely you and breaking all the rules. I have created five figure months with no paid ads, a tiny list and zero complicated sales funnels. Simplifying marketing and teaching you how to use it for good in the world is my zone of genius. With this podcast, I'm here to share weekly episodes on the soul and the strategy of marketing, mindset, money and everything online business. Let's dive into today's episode. Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of the Brave Marketing Podcast. And today I'm sharing with you the number one shift to start making more sales in your business. So if you want to make more sales, then you got to stop this one thing. What's that one thing? It's making assumptions about your audience. What that basically means is when you start making assumptions about who will or who won't pay for your offers or how much they would be willing to pay or if they have the money to pay you or how much money do they have. When you start making these unconscious judgments about your audience, you are blocking sales. You are literally energetically but also strategically blocking sales. And if this is you and if you find yourself doing this often when you're judging people, judging people in your audience and looking at them, oh, she won't buy, she always wants to get low price stuff, then I want you to try this simple exercise. Take a notebook and write down all of your thoughts about your audience. Don't filter this. Don't try to write what you think you should write. Just write the first gut feelings that you have about your audience, right? So do you feel or do you think thoughts like these? Do you think that you don't have anyone in your audience who values and can pay for your offers? Do you feel that your audience only always buys low cost offers and they will never invest in high ticket offers? Do you look at someone and mentally start making calculations on how much they might be willing to pay? These thoughts are creating an unconscious block to your sales. Because listen, What someone is willing to pay for, how they afford it, and why they are ready for it right now, it's none of your business. Honestly, I love you, but it's not your business. Your business is to create an offer that provides a transformational solution to a clear and specific problem that your clients have. The second thing that your job is to, your business is to create content that speaks to the empowered ready to buy clients and weed out the not so dreamy ones, right? People who are not ready for you right now, who have lots of objections, right? So writing that kind of content that's only speaking to empowered clients. And then finally, fully backing your offer with your energy and letting the clients come to you. No convincing required. It's really that simple. And if you're thinking right now, Swapna, it's not that simple. I've got you. See, this level of confidence in your offer, content, and mindset, it definitely requires mastering your message, working on the core skills of you know, your beliefs, and copywriting, offer creation, and so much more. And if you're struggling here, then reach out. Let's talk about working together because this is my zone of genius. You can book a call from the link in the show notes, and I look forward to chatting with you. So this was the sweetest, shortest episode till now. But honestly, there is no point in me fluffing this because that's what it is. If you want to make more sales, stop making assumptions about your audience and start thinking about your audience that the way you want them to, right? Start looking at your audience and start cultivating the feelings that everyone in your audience is ready to work with you. They are craving to work with you. They have the money to pay you. They're excited to work with you. They woke up ready to work with you. And 
just watch how when your thoughts transform how your reality transforms as well so that is the episode for this week i'm going to see you next week until then stay brave that's the episode for today thank you so much for listening to this episode i am thrilled to have you as part of the brave marketing community because this podcast is still brand new it would mean so much to me if you could leave a five star review as that will make it easy for other brave hearts to find this podcast and grow our community of rule breakers until next time have a brave week ahead